everybody and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more fun. Today we are going to make an interactive card using some white LED light stickers and we're going to make the colors change in a unique way. So I've started off my card by stamping off our cute little image here. This is from the uh, hugs make everything better from my favorite things and I have a pair of foxes and I've got the tree and everything masked off. I've also die cut some holes for my stars and we're going to attach that there. And it looks like I may have to put another star in a different spot and that's okay. We can do that very easily. This is my card base and this is how we're going to make the changes of color for our LED sticker. And we'll assemble that in a moment. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I went and I die cut another star in that position. That way there are three stars in the sky. And my panel today and all of my elements are being cut from the reveal wheel by Lawn Fawn. Okay, so first we need to adhere these guys down. I'm gonna use wet adhesive to do that as well. This just makes it uh, so that you can go out to all those tiny little pieces and make sure that there's adhesive attached to the ears and the tips of the tail and all that good thing. So we'll put our little cute little foxes on. All right. And the reason why I didn't stamp them initially is because it was much easier to mask off um, just one element rather than two. So that's why I did that. Now, we're going to go to the actual wheel. And what I did here was I cut it out twice, once in vellum and once in heavyweight cardstock. And then I cut the inner circle off. And this is more to stabilize and add a little bit of stiffness to my wheel because Having it strictly out of vellum just doesn't cut it for strength or durability. So I'm just going to use some wet adhesive on it and then I'm just going to match it up. And all I did was use my Copic markers and I colored over that vellum paper. And that's going to act as our color changing element with our LED stickers. Okay, so I need to go now because we have made a change. I need to map out that third star. So I'm just going to match everything up here on my card base. And I'm going to go in and mark that third star. And we're going to erase the one that doesn't work now. So one, two, three. And that's the location of where my lights are going to go. So let's pull out the lights and get working on that. Okay, so I've grabbed my white LED stickers, uh, a battery, 3 volt battery, and my copper tape, and I've got my uh, stencil from the Craft Effects and Stencils package. Um, it kind of looks like this, and it comes with four different Craft Effects uh, to program within your circuit. So these effects include um, fade, blink, twinkle, and heartbeat, so it's cool. Um, so this stencil has a little triangle that's the same shape as our light sticker, so I love to use this. So it allows me to map out exactly where I need things. Now, I want to put my battery down in the corner, so I kind of want to have an idea of where that is. So I'll just mark that off. And so I kind of know where my circuit is going to head here. So I have three lights that I need to connect as one circuit. So I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to do is, I guess, just make a, a line here. So we're just going to kind of point them sort of kind of together. So using my little stencil, I'm going to map out where I need to put my stickers. And of course, nobody's going to see this part, so you can be as rough 
<laughs> with your uh, stencil marks as you need to be. Okay, so there's the three stickers, and then I just bring in a, I just bring in the edge of this because this works really, really well. So we're going to build a little housing here, positive and negative. If you look at your stickers uh, close up, there is a little teeny minus sign and a positive sign to indicate which side of the circuit needs to go where. So all of the negatives are the pointy part of the triangle. So I'm going to contact all of my pointy parts of my stickers together. So I'm just going to use that stencil as my ruler. We're going to come out a tiny bit. Now there is a, a finger point in this card, so I don't want to bring my circuit out into that gap. We need to see that. So I think what we'll do is we'll bring our circuit off this side and we will build it to come down the other side. I think it'll just make things so much easier for myself. So we're just going to bring it down to approximation wherever my battery is going to sit here. There we go. And then our positive, which is the fat side of our triangle, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're just going to connect all of those together and of course you can adjust things as you apply your tape too so bring this positive down so again this is the positive 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 side and it's gonna have to come in the circuit as well. I'm just going to put that line in approximation. So everything is connected. So now I need to put down the copper tape. So let's get started here. Now my end always seems to want to tuck itself back into the roll. So okay. I am going to start by doing the when you put your battery in you need to know which is your positive side and which is your negative. So positive side is always shown with a plus sign. So it's the top part of my battery. So it needs to be connected to the positive side there. So we're going to have to make a little housing for that. So let's start with our negative side because I can come in underneath that battery quite easily. All right. So this is self-adhesive copper tape. You just pull off the backing. We're going to apply it right to this paper. And the reason why it's a pattern paper, just because it shows around the edge. And it just made things easier. And the reason why I put a white circle here is for reflection purposes of the lights. And it was easier for you guys to see too. Okay, so to do your corners, I like to... I like to pull in my bone folder, give it a good press, and you can do the same with your copper tape. And you just fold it back on itself to make that angle. Press it lightly to the paper, burnish it down, fold it back on itself to round that corner. So you just want to go across all of those stencil marks. You may have to do some fun folding, and that's okay. That's the brilliant part of this copper tape, is that it's absolutely can do all of these bends and folds. Now, I do recommend that you try and keep one piece of copper tape for your circuit. It just makes things run so much more effectively than piecing it together. So when you're done... You can just snip it off. We'll just snip off that backer. And there we go. There is our negative line. Now we need to build ourselves a tiny little housing for this battery because this, of course, touches the negative, which is the bottom side of the battery. We need to make it come up to the top of the battery. So we need to build a little house. 
Okay, so I've cut myself a little piece of copy paper. This is just straight from your printer. And we're going to use some 3 millimeter uh, self adhesive foam. This is from Heffy Doodle. I love this stuff for making cards because it's just the right thickness to deal with the battery thickness. Okay, so now we need to build ourselves a little battery house. And I'm just going to cut myself off a piece of foam so it's easier to work with. I already have really light lines that are basically kind of showing me where um, the edge of this goes. So I know not to put foam tape outside of those lines. So we're just going to run that just down the length underneath where that white card front piece is going to be. And there's kind of a butt stop for our battery like that. And we want to hold this little fella in. So I'm going to run another piece down there and it's pretty stuck in there. That's good. And then we only need a couple of short pieces. So we're going to put one right there. And of course you can put this right over top of your copper tape because it's non-conductive. So you just want to make sure that he has a nice little home in there and he's not going anywhere. So there we go. Okay. Looking good. Now, what we need to do is build this little house. So I am going to just adhere this a little bit by doing this. I'm going to take one of the backer papers off. So it's only sticky on that one side. And there we go. And that's just make it just makes a flap. Okay, so let's run our positive line for our circuit. And I'm going to go from the inside of the flap first. So I like to make this nice and long. So just peel off the backer again. Sometimes it folds on itself, but that's okay. All right, so I need to make this nice and long. You want to make sure it goes a good ways across that battery. It just makes for better contact. So I'm applying it to the underside of our little flap here. There we go. Give it a good press. And what happens is it folds over top of this housing. And I'm going to go kind of a little bit across here because I don't want it to come down on the negative part of the copper tape here. So let's press that down. Now, I don't have enough of... I'm just going to put another piece and I'll show you why in a second. Because I need something three-dimensional to stick this down to. So I'm just going to butt it underneath there. And what it does is it acts as a firm place to put my copper tape to stick to that three-dimensional piece of foam. That's all. Just there wasn't enough sitting underneath that one piece. So you just adapt, right? Okay, so we're going to bring our copper tape out. Okay. And to do the corner, you're going to go back on itself. Do a little press press. And again. And you're going to go up to those light stickers. And I'm going to go right to the corner of that one light, light sticker there. And again, you don't want to cross your copper tape. You're going to go across where the positive side of your light needs to be. And then we've got to make a little bit of a, a jump here. I'm just taking off that backer. I need to go up to the corner here 
And again, this is the beauty of that copper tape. You can adjust and mold it to whatever you need. And again, we have to go down to the other one. So just folding back on itself. Nice press down, make good contact with that paper, and it also allow for a flatter surface to put your stickers on too. So <laughs> there we go. Okay, and a snip snip, and there we go. So now we have a complete completed circuit. There we go. Beautiful. And I do not take the backing off this part of the sticker so this has an opportunity to move okay all right now let's put on our light stickers so this is a protective covering on the top and you just pull out your little piece of stickers there's three making sure that the positive goes on the positive and the negative goes on the negative and you want to make sure that your light is over top of that circle because that's the hole that it needs to shine through so there we go one two and oh, <laughs> and three give them a good press and give them a test voila okay on to the next part Okay, so let's assemble our light changing mechanism here. So I have a brad and it just passed it through the hole in the center. I need a tiny bit of a lower profile foam tape. So I'm gonna use this stuff here. And the reason why I want to do that is I wanna bump that brad up so nothing interferes with those lights and that this twists and turns over top of that very easily but I don't want it as high as this stuff because then it'll interfere with the frame or the upper piece so I'm gonna do that what you want to do is just make sure that the wings on your red are allow for a gap between it like don't press it hard up against that vellum. It needs to be able to rotate on that brad. So don't press it really firmly flat. It needs a gap. So we're gonna do this and you're going to stick your mechanism right in the center, making sure that your, or your finger divot is there is part of your wheel is showing so there we go now I'm just gonna stick my finger underneath and press <laughs> curse I would do that just gonna press it gently there we go now make sure you don't stick it to you and that's what I have done I stuck it too close. Good. I need my prongs out more. I'm going to use my scissors to press those prongs right in. There we go. There we go. And that spins. And I have a spot of ink right there. And that's bugging me. <laughs> so, and of course it's not gone, but there. See, it spins freely. Okay, so, double check that things work. Now, let's, before we take off the backer paper, I'm just going to do, wow, that is not, you know what? This is not going to work. Now the reason why it won't work is because it's too high. This brad is sitting too high and it's actually bowing and still quite high. So you know what? 
I like teaching you guys about stuff like this because you know this stuff happens to all of us so what I do what I need is a, I need a lower profile brat is what I need so pull out the brad stash from like many many moons ago and let's see if I can find a lower profile brad here and I need my tweezers so I just I have like tons of them here um I have these ones that look like little buttons and uh, they're lower profile and they make great gluing surfaces because they're they're round you can just use a glue dot if you had to okay so this should be <laughs> lower profile let's fold back the wings leaving a gap and you know what instead of our foam tape because again we live and learn right i'm just going to use a little bit of score tape just a tiny bit who doesn't love their score tape and we're just going to press our little wings into that see i have a, a circle that's drawn there i know where the center of my wheel is there and again i'm just going to go in <laughs> and hope the heck I can get that pressed in. This is not cooperating, guys. There we go. There's one. And there's two. Oh, sorry for the squeak. Okay. So that, yeah, still rotates good, and it's lower profile, which means it's not going to make itself known. There we go. Okay, so let's do a trial run here. Ooh, ah. Oh. So because I colored it the way I did, when you rotate it, you get different colors as you rotate it. Isn't that cool? Okay, perfect. So let's just take our backer paper off and I'm not going to worry I have pencil lines but I don't think you can really see them there we go and again I'm not taking the backer paper off of um, the stuff that's underneath here because that would defeat the purpose I am going to take that piece off just the backer paper there and that's Okay, so this, in this case, this battery is not able to come out. Oh, another pet peeve I've got. Eek. And I always just use a white eraser or you can use your um, sand eraser, but I can't find my sand eraser. So... You know what? That is going to bug me. I can just see it just in that spot. It's just a little bit more noticeable. <laughs> okay. Come on, little fella. And there we go. Move all of our stuff out of the way here. Give it a little press. Let's turn out the lights. Okay, and there we go. We can change the color of our stars just by rotating our little spinner. Wonderful. So guys, I hope I've inspired you to create today and get out your copper tape, your LED light stickers, and have some fun. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. A list of all the products used today will be listed in the section below, and we'll see you again sometime soon. Bye!